lot of deer to shoot here in Cornwall. So many, Ollie Williams reckons, that the only way to get close to the big red stag he wants is an ambush. The wind's a bit annoyingly difficult today, so not your standard southwesterly, so we are going to um, stalk down, basically stop and then just wait and then in this spot where you can look over this entire um, heather bank uh, and the sun shines lovely lovely and bright into it this time of day so that I imagine the hinds and it will be laying up with their stags. Fingers crossed we can uh, find a couple. The vast majority for us is crop damage um, whether it be you know our arable tenants I've actually seen reds digging digging potatoes out of the ground um, we have a, one of our main tenants is a big potato farmer so not and obviously potatoes are very expensive again maize they hammer maize and maize is a thousand pounds an acre these days yeah it's it's mostly crop damage but also you know um, if you get them in two bigger numbers they will browse in inverted commas um, and go down through new uh, new plantations and hammer them as well so yeah I mean I love to have the like, reds around personally um, I love to see the big stags around um, but you've got to keep on top of them and I've seen I mean I've seen this stag in particular for four or five years now and he seems to get better and better I figured uh, you know I'll take him if we can see him but you know I'll never see him again now now I've confessed to it Red deer are not the only wildlife lurking in these woods. We're stalking through one of the main drives at the chute, and at this time of year there are pheasants ringing out our presence from all sides. This time of year, deer, in theory, if they're living around here, they've got to be so used to pheasants going bonkers for no reason, because they do. So I'm never sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm pretty, it can't be good, really, because it. So well, there we are, look, that's what they should be doing. Anyway, um, Planning your next shoot day. Yeah, exactly. The sun is starting to dip and the shadows are lengthening. Ollie has a new pair of binos to try, the Steiner Ranger LRF in 10x42. They are range-finding binos and, crucially in this light, they have guards to block out sunlight from the eyepiece or ocular. When you have the sun right on your face, there's a minor tree here, but just having those Having those eyebrow guides, guards, or the eye guards. And at this point, I'm actually looking right into the sun almost. And they're, they're still performing pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with these, I must admit, so far. We reach the bank and sit and wait, which gives the birds time to settle down and the deer to come out. Well, we could go in looking for them, but well, more than likely, just because it's so thick in here. Just bump, I'll just bump them and we'll, we'll, we'll be like, they'll be gone. Whereas with the amount of birds around as well, that's better just to stay put and the sun will just set on this bank. Um, so if you're a deer, you want to get an early feed or have some last minute rays, I've just, I've seen them just lying in this heather. We give it half an hour. During that time, Ollie is able to range find to the bank and see how shootable it is from our position. It's a novelty, you see, I forget, I have a rangefinder in these now. I'm the first ever rangefinder, right, so turn one. And then you press, there we are, there. Also, they have a golf mode as well. Golf. Yeah, which is very important for myself. See how far, how far I can top the ball. No, right, so, yeah, so it's 250 to the middle of that bank, pretty much. 256. Half an hour passes and no deer appear. Ollie decides to walk on up the valley. He's convinced a red stag is there. And he's right. It runs out of the wood and up the field away from us. Ah! Joking. <sighs> Bugger. That was a good stag as well. Bam. Um, this, the plan is to not be so shit at stalking and be more alert. We decide to call it and go off and look for a roebuck on another part of the ground. Our red deer adventures are not over. First of all, there's a stag trapped in the pheasant pen deep in cover. A roebuck patrolling the fence line spots us and spooks the stag. Deer trapped in pheasant pens can cause damage, but with both of them aware of us now, they are tomorrow's problem. Next, we stop on a stream in a wood and spot two hinds in the fields beyond. They might not be alone then. I wouldn't be surprised if they're alone this time of year. We creep closer to see if there is a stag with them. It's very interesting to see how they react to the pheasants. The pheasants have all seen us, but they don't seem to be too bothered. The answer to the question, do deer, 
attention to pheasants flushing? The answer appears to be no, because like I said, the pheasants have all seen us. These beasts are convinced of their own invincibility. You're supposed to be keen in the eye, you silly animals. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ah. Right, well, let's carry on. Last stop of the evening is a field where Ollie has seen Roebuck. With the light going, this is going to be a test for the Steiner optics. Ollie's rifle scope is a new Steiner Ranger 8. His rifle is a Benelli Lupo in 6.5 Creedmoor. Yes, he has gone for the calibre equivalent of soft leather underpants. It is unmoderated and he would like to shoot both animals, right and left. One down, just 15 feet away, the other buck is unperturbed. It continues munching on Ollie's pasture. So um, after being a, a jovial uh, abuser of the 6.5 Creedmoor gang, I firmly joined it and I can see why, because the first two shots on, on game with the, with, with the rifle, uh, the Benelli Lupo, which is a gorgeous bit of kit, um, them like a stone, so cannot well, I cannot praise the praise the rifle high enough, and obviously the scope as well. I mean, we're last light now, um, and that has just brought in so much more than I could see. Pretty standard around here, they're not nothing to do. One thing we don't get around here is special bucks, which is a shame, but I don't shoot them for heads, I shoot them for eating, so they will eat very well. It's been a wonderful English lowland stalk with the highs of challenges overcome and a few lows too, and crucially, two carcasses in the larder. For more about Steiner's range of binoculars and rifle scopes in the UK, go to distributor gmk.co.uk or search for them on KidFinder.